But um, yeah, I mean, that's the big thing that everybody seems to look for, you know, is, is the UV resistance. And there's a lot of good UV inhibitors on the market. Now, the one that we use in Generation 4 is completely different than the one that was uh, in Threadmaster. Right. Um, you know, the joke in the industry and something that I want to make sure that everybody understands is that if you, if you want your epoxy to be non-yellow, non-yellowing is not the right word. If you want, if you want the best long-term clarity that you can get, you're going to have to live with the hardener being a little bit yellow. Yeah. Because the UV inhibitors that keep it from turning yellow actually are, are yellow. yellow. <laughs> right. Yes. And, and and John was the one who taught me that. He always used to say, if you want it to if you want it to keep it from turning yellow, you got to turn it yellow. Right. Yeah. Um now the good part about that is is that it's it's not really all that yellow. Right. So right. You take you take three cc's in a syringe and you mix it with three cc's of resin. It's water clear for all right. intents and purposes. Right. You know? Right. Uh so you know uh Brian from Bandit Custom Rods did a really good UV test. Uh, I think it went on for 140 days or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, right. You know, that was, uh, and I always like it when my clients do that kind of stuff because it means more coming from an independent source. Sure, sure. Know. Because I still have pictures of my original. Oh, UV I know your tests. You, you did know. a lot of tests on the roof. Yeah, in, in yeah, Texas. I used to really, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but um, so that's the big thing about about epoxies is that you know if you want it if you want it to stay clear for a long time. Don't pay attention to what it looks like in the bottle. You know, you need to pay attention to what it looks like once it's mixed and cured a year down the line. Right. You right. know, and and that's that should be what's important. And a lot of people, yeah. you know, they go and they see and you know, go down to Bass Pro or wherever, you know, where you can buy, you know, whatever rod finish you want. And the two parts look clear. And it's like that to me is a red flag because I know at some point that hardener is turning right. yellow. It ain't staying you know? clear. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it's going to turn yellow when it's cured and on the rod. And that's where it matters the most. Right. Yeah. So.